Namaste everyone. I hope you are enjoying our RX Tower Optator episodes. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about default if empty and switch if empty. So let's get started. Here we have an observable which will emit one to five. But wait, we have chained a filter operator which says that number needs to be greater than ten. We know that. It's not going to print anything in the console. If you have any doubt regarding filter operator, click on the card that you see right now. This kind of scenario may arise in the future as well. Is there any way to greet the observer with a default value? So here comes the default if empty. Just chain this operator with a default value, say hundred, and run. And there we go. It prints hundred in the console. <laughs> Great, pretty useful. Now, in the case of default if empty, we can pass a default value. But is there any way to change the observable itself on the fly? So here we have the same code snippet as before. So let's change switch if empty in between. And there we go. It takes observable source as an argument. Great. Let's copy and paste observable above, and maybe change some values. Great. Let's run, and there we go. It gets the emission from the new observable. Now, if I change the above observable to take eleven, which is greater than ten, and run, it will print eleven only because switch if empty only executes if the observable it changed to emits empty. It's the same case for the default if empty as well. So I hope today's video was interesting for you. If you have any doubt regarding default if empty and switch if empty, then comment below or message me on any of my social handles. And if you liked today's video episode, then don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every Sunday. It's me too here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.